What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince. How you all doing? Hope you're doing really well. Uh, today we're going to talk about challenges, a really really important aspect of the game. I'm sure many of you will already be aware of what the challenges are, but for those that don't, I just want to run through challenges and how they can benefit you when it comes to you developing your base. Um, if you look above the timer I've got, on the left hand side you'll see there's a little sword and it keeps changing to a shield, so it's solo and hell event. If you click on those, you can see that there's a solo event and a hell event. We just click on the solo event for the moment, which I've already maxed out, but if you just have a look, you can see that you get different tier prizes from 500 points going through to 4,500 points, and the prizes you get are pretty good. Um, you know, looking at VIP, commander energy, speeds, and these kind of things are really going to help you when it comes to developing your base and getting through those researches and your builds a lot quicker. So it's really, really important to make sure that when you are doing your research and you are doing your buildings and training troops, that you keep an eye on your solo and hell events and make sure that you're timing them in time with them events. When you do unlock a tier 1 or a tier 2 or a tier 3 uh, event, you will get an email come through. You can see here that this is the email I got for unlocking the stage 3 rewards. And once you unlock stage 3, you, there's nowhere else you can go after stage 3. So stop. Don't do any more. I know you'll be eager to continue to build and continue to research, but you're not going to get no rewards for doing it once you max out the challenge. The solo event happens every two and a half hours. So every two and a half hours, pop onto your account, you know, do some research and build, knock out the event, and then that's it, done. Wait for the next one to come up. Because you know these challenges, the, the, the actual prizes don't look huge, but they add up. Over the course of a day or two, getting 15 minute speed ups every few hours, after a couple of days you're going to have a handful of them, and you'll be able to use those to knock out a really good research. So really, really important to do that. Um, as far as the base is concerned, just a little update on the base, um, things are going really well. Um, really, really well. We uh, gemmed up a little bit yesterday, managed to get the castle up to 17, which in turn opened up a few things for us, including tier 3 troops. They're here. So we've got tier 3, um, very, very strong troops, um, in the process now of doing the other research to maximise their, you know, their strength and their defence. But we got the tier 3 open, which did boost the power up quite a bit once I've done that research and built a few troops. You can see it took us over, to, over 4 million power, um, or million might, sorry. So now it's looking really, really good on that front. Also picked up a new hero, one of the newer ones that's just come out, uh, the Dark Follower. Um, really good hero, intelligence class, and he comes with a research boost, which is really, really nice. So we always like a good research boost to help us with those extremely long research times. And um, at the moment, his medals, we've only got five with the pack extra, so nothing that's going to boost him above um, the lowest level. But, you know, we will get him leveled up, and once we do that, his research boost in turn is going to increase. Plus, a decent gold supply management as well, and at rank seven... We've got a really good training um, speed boost as well. So he's got some really good boost as far as helping you progress your base is concerned. As far as his abilities as an actual hero are concerned, um, he's good. I mean, he's got some good, good skills. He's also a healer, which I believe is this one here, the Holy Blessing. Although I am a bit concerned as to whether or not he's going to be better than Prima Donna. Because with his Holy Blessing, it does state that it heals people in a medium area. But it does restore 3000 HP, which is quite a lot. Um, if we compare that to Prima Donna, um, you can see that her Anthea's Anthem only does 2000 HP, but it does restore all of the allies, regardless where they are on the battlefield. So I don't know whether the medium range is going to be the downfall, whether or not that's going to prevent us from healing people that have just travelled a bit too far to go and attack an enemy. But once he's levels up, and I'm in the process of levelling him up, as you can see, I've got him to 33. Once I get him up equal to like the others at 43, uh, we'll take him into the Colosseum and we'll do a bit of testing. Uh, we'll see if he works well with Prima Donna or on his own. Um, but definitely, definitely a good support, a support um, hero that we've brought into the base. So yeah, very, very happy with him. Also, at C17, was able to unlock the treasure trove fully now, so we can actually start using that. I'm in the process of saving up some gems because the minimum deposit you can put into the treasure trove is 10,000 gems. If you put it in for a 30 day, you get 8,500 extra out at the end of those 30 days because we obviously minus the 10 we put in. But 8,500 free gems every 30 days sounds good to me. We can use those gems for good research and buildings and also training troops. 
Um, I believe you can increase that. At the moment, I can go to 10,250, but there is research to be done that does boost that up, and also you can level up the building as well. It requires crystal pickaxes, which you have to purchase, which are very similar, well, purchased from the in-game um, gem store which is very similar to the other uh, money buildings like the prison and the battle hall uh, as well. Battle hall is up to 13, so we can launch a pretty decent sized rally now. Uh, Colosseum, uh, we've managed to get that down to rank 445, which is great because it means every three hours now I'm going to be bringing in 75, sorry, 70 gems. So I'm going to be trying to work my way up now to get under the 200 mark to get to the 100 gems every three hours. But again, things like this that's going to bring free gems into my base is always welcome. So yeah, really, really, really happy about that. On the defense side of things, what I'm looking to do is try and get my training grounds all to level 12. We've got one at 16, which was a requirement of getting to C17 Castle, but I'm trying to get the other ones up to 12. I've got one there already. I'm going to be doing that level 10 one in just a moment. But the reason I'm trying to get them to level 12 is because at level 12, you do double the defense bonus on each um, training ground. So we've got 2% on that one. And if you've got a few training grounds, that 1% is going to add up. And as you can see, I've got two there, two up here. And I've also got four over in the uh, hell heli pits of Mordor. So yeah, I'm looking to try and boost my defense as much as possible. And these training grounds are a very, very good way of doing it. And as they go past level 12, the, the, the boost does increase as well. So yeah, everything's going really, really well as far as the base is concerned. I'm really, really happy with everything. Um, one of the other things I do want to mention is a piece of gear, which is the flutes. These flutes are absolutely amazing. They don't cost anything as far as you know the materials are concerned. You don't have to buy packs to get the material. Um, they're free to, free to play materials that you get from gathering and also gifts and things like that. Um, the flute, it, uh, green, is giving me a 8% research boost, which is quite big. That's, that's a decent research boost. And even the white flute, you know, the starting level, is giving me 2.5. So I would strongly recommend that you get the flutes. You do have to be level 40 hero to use them, which may be a bit of a problem for the newer players in the kingdoms. But if you can make it, I would definitely make it. Put it into your workshop, keep leveling it up as you can, and as soon as you hit level 40, you can stick your flutes on there. Plus, you do get the second accessory slot open once you hit Castle 17. So, yeah, lots of really good progress, really happy with the way things are going, and hopefully we can uh, keep pushing forward and take our base to the next level. So, yeah, that's it for the moment. Um, until the next vid, peace out and take care.